Please excuse the mess. The sonar feed appears to be having a few <laughs> difficult. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sonar Feed episode one four. Oh, scratch that. Special edition episode two five three, and we have our Sounders own Lamar. Hey, we got go. yeah. And we're done. Now that's how you open a show right there. Let's yeah, go. Thanks. Thank you, Hugo. Yeah, I got to live up to that. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. Yeah. Well, I don't even know if I can give you a clap for that. Wow. <laughs> so episode, we believe, 140. Uh, we've actually done 140 episodes of this. Yeah. Awesome. Hanging out at the pub with the friends, having Hanging a drink, yeah. meeting friends. All these people and Talking here. about you guys. Any excuse every week. A pub, yeah. Yeah, Pretty much. Right Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it started. <laughs> like, get out of the house on a Monday night and have yeah. a beer. Sounds Not good. Bad. So, uh, well, well, uh, welcome in, Lamar. A special edition here tonight. Yeah. Episode uh, 253. Yeah, 253 no, edition. thank you. Appreciate it's it. Every time I come here, I, you know, it's nice. I get to see the same people, you know, have a good time. and You'd wish you'd see some new ones every <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tournament's got bigger every year, yeah. so, yeah, yeah there's a few people coming in. <laughs> Trust me, it's not because of us. <laughs> yeah, we feel the same way, though. Yeah, we'd, we like, we'd like new people, too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, everybody, share, tweet. Let people know. Bring them. Tell them. Come join us. This year, we're going to talk about the tournament here in a little bit. Yeah, yeah we, we are. are. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So we'll talk a little bit about you. A little bit about... People know you, but a little bit about you. A little bit about the tournament. Well, why don't we talk about... A little bit about, about next year. Why don't we talk about us before we get too deep into this? Okay. Want to talk about us? Well, why don't we introduce the show? Oh, good idea. That's a novel concept. I know. All right. So here we are, episode 140 of Sonar Feet. I am Aaron Riley, a.k.a. Sonar Riley. To my right, your left. I am Lee Rail, at Lee Rail. I am Hugo Garcia at Mi Vida Seattle. And Lamar, Lamar Nagel. Nagel. Yeah, at Lamar Nagel. Yeah, excellent. Very we, good. Now we can go on with your business. Okay. So, one thing we have to do to start with is there's a little uh, little work here to be done on. Uh, oh, man. Oh, On this yeah. right there, right? A little, 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 little check and uh, some more checks here. Wait, and wait. We got wait, wait. Does that check? Oh I, my did. God. I did. I did, yes. That's awesome. <laughs> So uh, we didn't have checks with our name on our, on our account yet. So yeah. I got one of our old stickers oh, and put perfect. it on there. We have yeah. a new logo now. But, yes, I had to do that. Close so Close so it works. Um, <laughs> we've done it now three years in a row. The first year, you were unfortunately at a team that you're going to go play this weekend. Yeah. Uh, you were at another team. And That's we tweeted right. to you, uh, hey, a bunch of us are going to get together, raise some money, and have a little fun for tournament. Come join us. Yeah. And you along with about 15 or 20 people, showed up and played yeah. with us yeah. all day long. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Dude, was down for some life? FIFA. Yeah. 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 Awesome. yeah. And so you showed up and were like, oh, my God, he really came. <laughs> <laughs> what? We were like, This really? guy we love on the pitch, and he's just hanging out he's with just us? Just playing video just, games with just us? Just playing himself in a video game. It's cool. <laughs> and that year we raised $700. Yeah. For, for the Boys and Girls Club that year. Yeah. Yes. That was yeah, before yeah, yeah. you had this your foundation. Three yeah. years ago. We, we thought that was some big stuff. We did. And then, la not, not not this year, but in 2014, we, we had you back. You agreed to come back. You were back on the Sounders, yeah. which was awesome. Yep. And we raised $2,200 for the Nagel Foundation. Yeah. Yep. Boom. And Standing favorably. 2015, <laughs> January. Yep. January 4th. We, we, we pushed it because there was a special event in, in your life. Yeah. The normal weekend we do it. You obviously uh, engaged in the, the the amazing world of marriage. Yeah. Which, congratulations yeah, yeah. again. Thank congratulations. You, thank you. Yeah, new life. Yeah. 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 And then you came back right away from your honeymoon, I think like the day after you got back, yeah. and spent the whole day with us again, and we raised $10,250. Unbelievable. Uh, Let's go! Yeah. For the Nagel Foundation. Unbelievable. So, I mean, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So yeah. thank you for coming down and just kind of being with us. us. No, yeah, absolutely. I'm you know, so grateful for what you guys have done, obviously, you know, over the last three years to watch it grow from that. Who would have known, you know, when I was on Montreal to just come <laughs> in here, it would have evolved into this. So that's uh, awesome. I, you know, I just think that, you know, if you give, you know, you do good to people, you know, it'll, it'll come back. And so that's kind of what I was doing. I was just coming to have a good time and play some FIFA. And then all of a sudden I came back and you guys decided to put in my name and, you know, there's there's a lot of other people that go into that tournament that don't get to sit here in front exactly. of the camera. Yes. Yep. And, yeah. You know, a lot of those people are watching right now. And, yes. and so so thank you to to yeah. Lonnie and, and Kyle. To Kyle and mm -hmm. to 
all the other Coopy, yeah, everybody, all the volunteers. I mean, the Sonar Feed family. A lot of them are here. Yeah. A bunch of them are here. Yeah. So thank you guys. Our so, families. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Yeah. 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 thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. So, again, it couldn't be without everybody else. We we just sit in front of camera and look pretty, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> or just talk a lot. One of the two, or both. I'm getting a lot prettier. I don't you know are. You <laughs> are. Yeah, I'm gaining all the weight you're losing. Thank God. Not, Somebody's uh, got to do it. It's terrible. But it's just great to have have, yeah. it, have the family. And it has really become it is. a Sonar yeah. Feed family. And you know? we did notice today that this is this is the first time you've actually really, really been on the show, actually talking on yeah. the show. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, it was just kind of some tweets and stuff yeah. like exactly. that, yep. getting yep. involved. But no, yeah, thank you for having me. You're following me. legends yeah. like, you know, Andy Craven, time. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Christian Roldan, yeah, Ezra's been on, yeah. Coach yeah. Hinton. Yeah. Yeah. So we've had a few. A few. You're the first. Starting you are. You are sounders. the first. Now nah, James Riley hasn't been on the show yet. Has not been on the yeah, show yeah. yet. So and kind of like we've grown Sonar Feet along, kind of like the way you've grown with the yeah. team itself. So yep. it's it's great to to kind of have you here, being the first sounder, actual player. Yeah. That's on the team currently on the show. It's something that we were talking about earlier. Like, man, this is, it's almost like what it, meant, it was meant to happen to have him be our first uh, player on the show live. So, yeah, yeah. excited. Appreciate man. it. Yeah. So, tell us about the foundation, where you are. I know you got some earmarks for some of the money here, and let's talk about what we can do for this next year. Because there yeah. are a few people in the audience, a few, a lot of people who showed up last year for the first time, yeah. who have already been out at every single S2 or S1 game. Uh, sign, getting signed. We're gonna have our auction this this next year is gonna be off the hook. So we yeah. got to make sure you come back because yeah, I think ten thousand dollars should be pretty easy this year uh, based on yeah. what we're hearing. I'm so yes, awesome, man. That's awesome. No you, pressure. You're expecting my company no to IPO already? Yeah, I, am. I am. He's expecting his company to IPO too. <laughs> Not that quick. <laughs> no. So, but anyway, so uh, yeah. tell us a little about where you're, what you're what you're gonna do with some of it if you if you don't mind or what you're. Uh, yeah, I mean. Um, we're, we were actually talking about it in the car. You know, I, I want more and more ideas with with the amount of time that grows that I've had the foundation, obviously, gaining money with through different events, and your guys especially, which has been, you know, the number one, uh, you know, supplier of it. So that's awesome. But uh, I think it would be – well, right now we have the Boys and Girls Club. I've been working with mm -hmm. the Boys and Girls Club at Federal Way. And uh, just kind of the same thing. Our relationships have always kind of developed kind of – uh, really small in it being like little visits and stuff like that like the first time I came for the FIFA tournament and then grown into something a lot bigger and so I've worked with you know a few different like three or four different boys and girls clubs but the one that you know has my heart is the one that I grew up in and that's the one in Federal Way and they're actually going to be uh, building a brand new field for the for the kids and oh, they great. are naming it Nagel Nagel oh, Field oh, 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 oh. Let's oh, go. Oh, damn. That's you heard cool. it here first. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Let's go. That's awesome. And so, I mean, some of that money is going to be going towards the field. And then uh, we're going to be supplying all the kids with jerseys once uh, the new season starts. And then, you know, I mean, it, that can develop into other things, you know, as it goes. If, you know, obviously if the field needs something else, I feel inclined to kind of give back to so, it a little bit. So you're bit. going into lawn maintenance after uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. All so right. he, need a turf, he needs a lawnmower. It's, it's, it's turf. It's Seattle. Turf. Okay, it's turf. It's turf. Okay, good, good. What's wrong with real grass? Let the controversy <laughs> begin. Do you, do you have a few hours for talking about grass? <laughs> yeah. No. 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 No into new opportunities, uh, some type of scholarship for kids. Right. Obviously, you know, club soccer can get really expensive. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, so some type of scholarship where, you know, we're finding kids who, you know, have the ability to play at a top level but maybe can't afford to. So yep. we're we're helping them along. But awesome. well, I'm, I'm always up for ideas. So if anybody's got ideas, you can tweet me. or. Yep. So, so we have a pub league team we're trying to put together. <laughs> <laughs> And we be totally right, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we're only going to be wreck, but I think we're going to make it this year. <laughs> Sponsor some of you guys. <laughs> uh, we just need tequila. That's all we need. <laughs> so, no, no. Um, that's great. Okay, so that's so you're going to have a na the Nagel Field in Federal Way. Yeah. Now, where where is it in Federal Way? It's at the Boys and Girls Club, obviously. Uh, but yeah. So um, at the Boys and Girls Club. So I mean, I so I grew up in the Saint Saint Vincent, the Catholic Church that's right next yep. to it. Okay. Then there was a. A field, a baseball field there that was a soccer field that I played on. That was the first field I played on, and then the boys and girls club. And then just on the opposite side of the boys and girls club, they're going to be creating a new field, new field, which is actually right down the road from where I played at TJ. Yeah, we played at nice. Fairway Memorial Stadium. Okay. So everything for me, like, 
kind of growing up is is centralized right there so it's kind of awesome to That's be great. driving down that road and see you know my old high school stadium where i scored a few goals and see my yeah. church and six in one game my right so- but yeah. my soccer field yeah know. yeah then yeah <laughs> then he's, have, he's uh, big time now yeah. so, you know. it's, all right. God, great. No, it's still it's still crazy and a humbling thing and so grateful that the boys and girls club is you know willing to do that and so i'm uh you know happy to give back for sure nice that's great that's really cool. That is so cool, some man. of that money that we raised there is going to help yeah. with that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You, you, know, get, yeah. you get three blades of turf. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for that. Exactly. That's awesome. So that's cool, Good. man. It's like, you know, we're part of, like, the seeding into it. It's, it's, it's oh, absolutely. look at yeah. you with the field yeah. reference. Look at sure. you go. Every once in a while, you know. Man, I, this announcing thing you're doing. They have me here for a reason. Quit they have wit, me here huh? for a reason. Yeah. Have you heard <laughs> of that? S2, yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Oh, you have? Oh, let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. You go fangirl moment Talk about big time. Follow my boys. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Let's go, man. I'm, I'm pumped. This is so, so awesome. So we'll gather some other ideas from folks as well. Now, yeah, one, one thing we did talk to um, is uh, we talked about the idea of the field turf. I mean, the turf, the real turf. And when they get rid of that, where, where does it go? And, you know, we looked into the idea of potentially helping that go uh, somewhere good so yeah. that I could do some good. You know, that probably wouldn't necessarily, like you said, probably wouldn't be in Washington very well. Yeah. But there would be some somewhere. So we we had talked about looking at that to see if there's some way we could help yeah. raise some money. Cause, but it's expensive, from what I understand. Yeah, that is, yeah, it's, it's mostly the moving costs. It's the, what takes up most of the most of the funds for that. Yeah. yeah. From what we talked to, um, who was it that we talked to? On that Fred. One? Fred. Fred. That's Mendoza. right. Yeah. Fred Mendoza. Yeah. Fred, Fred Mendoza okay. came on the show uh, yeah. a few months ago. Yeah. And we just talked about how how do because that just seems like right now it just kind of it's a waste. It's a waste. Yeah. You well, bring have, it in. They've donated in the past. But it's right, but, but the believe. problem is is it's, it's raising the funds to, for the oh, for the moving costs. Okay. Okay. Moving yeah. Because they, they, they donated for yeah, free. Yeah. The grass yeah. is free. Yeah. Okay. But it's you you know it's like ten grand or eight grand or yeah. it's expensive. Yeah. Wow. It's not cheap. Yeah. So. Plus, I mean, I can't get all these people to come lay the sod. I know exactly. We've all done that, right? Yeah, like the, no, hey, yeah. my buddy's moving. So if you know yeah. anybody that has a trucking company, there you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Helps us out a little bit. Exactly. So anyways, uh, we'll, race, uh, we'll ask the guy, the, the team, if they have any ideas, too. Yeah. And yeah, absolutely come back to you. Because that's great. For sure. Yeah. I sure. love it. Okay. So what, what else What else have you been up to, then? Uh, anything just, Anything fun happening in your life? Uh, we just moved into a new house, nice. me and my wife. Something, you know, that's kind of our own now. Nice. Uh, yeah, we just had a bunch of family over uh, yesterday. Nice. We had the day off, so had a bunch of family over and got to kind of enjoy it a little bit. Um, enjoy the sunshine. It you was get good. them to help you move in and everything. Pretty much. Yeah, like yeah. I got pizza much. for you guys. Got pizza for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> some housewarming gifts. Yeah, I got nice. all of it. Nice. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just kind of getting settled. It's it's been nice. All right. So I was get I, w- I was getting some uh, grief b- b- uh, before the show because I'm wearing Yedlin's Galazzo shirt on the show with you. That's because because you know why I don't I didn't see any shirts in your hand. That's true. Oh, yeah. Oh wow. wow. See, I yeah. wasn't going that far. I was gonna call it Galazzo. Well called. Say, hey, yeah. Yeah. Wow. We're drinking yeah. Galazzo here, as yeah. we as every, we always do. Every week yeah. with the every Galazzo. week we drink the Galazzo. So what yeah. we need to do they is know. we need to get a they campaign know. going to get the Lamar Nagel version of the shirts. Yeah. So. I mean, that's, that's good, too. I mean, Yedlin's like my little brother, man. I, I know. You know, I, I, know. I, I, I love that. He actually, it was funny, uh, in my locker, he left, you know, we have the player cards and stuff like that, yeah. and he left me a note, and he left his player card in my locker, and it was like, to my biggest fan. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like... He would get me right at the end, like as he leaves. Oh my god, that's it's awesome! Up. That's <laughs> awesome. You know, he walked out laughing. Yeah, he totally yeah. did. He totally yeah. did. But it's kind of exciting for us because we, you were with another company before this, and we have always been Galazzo fans here. Huge. Yeah. So when we had you at the tournament, we always have Galazzo come out, and they kind of hang out with us. And so I was super excited to see you yeah. move yeah. up to Galazzo because I'm a huge fan of Galazzo. Yeah. Well, that was a an, an natural thing too. I mean, they contacted us, and they're. The, the ownership and all the workers there are absolutely amazing. And it seems like every time we, we kind of create a partnership, that's that's what makes it grow the fastest exactly. and the most yep. organic is is that it's, you know, friendly people just trying to create a positive influence in the community. Absolutely. And Golazo does that amazingly. So I'm happy yeah. to be involved. Well, uh, we have some exciting news about Golazo. We do. Because we're hoping they're going to sponsor our road trip to Real Salt Lake. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so if you can put in a word... We are going down as we do every year. This is the third year in a row. We're going to drive to Salt Lake. Thirteen hours. 
The van. The it's van's commitment. been rented. We rented a van this year. It's, coach, yeah. if you're watching, we'll be healthier we'll this awesome. year. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, carrot, carrot year. sticks and celery, coach. Yeah, last year. <laughs> so last year we had uh, Galazzo gave us like six cases of Galazzo. Yeah. And we took it and put it in our fridge in our hotel room and then handed it out at the stadium to everybody, oh, awesome. to all the fans that yeah. were there. Because we traveled. Quite a few to Salt Lake. Yeah. It was like 150 was like, or 200 yeah. people. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, but it's, you know, and a lot of us drove, yeah. which is, you know, crazy because it's a yeah. 13-hour drive. 13. I mean, we, we, we leave Friday morning and we come home Sunday, which is, you know, you spend 26 oh hours God. in the car. Yeah. yeah I know. Exactly. Oh you God. always That's remember, I know. It's a weekend for, <laughs> for you. For a two-hour huh? game. Yeah. 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 Dude. We and might when you lose, it makes it that much worse. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. He's taking shots, No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Trust me, I feel the pressure I mean, as much you, as you it's do. Not you. Yeah. yeah, you're part of it now. Dude, man. let me tell you though, yeah. the pressure's on the other way, the other way around, because they don't want me to go. They're like, <laughs> my record going to support you guys and you is not the best. So yeah? people are like, here you go. How about you don't go and you say, say you did? Yeah, because yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm. Uh, you know, when I go places, I, I don't want to say it. Don't say it. Yeah. Lee, Lee has been to every Open Cup victory. Uh, oh, every Open Cup championship, loss. yeah, yeah, Lo- victory. But I have breaking nine? news: Glazo A is working on the shirts, oh. yes. Yes. Right. and B are happy to fuel the RSL roadie. Yes, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So there we go. Like so mission, huh? live Twitter right That's here. Awesome. We love got it. sponsors. Love it. <laughs> we got sponsors. And when we went to LA, we may or may not have taken about three cases of. Uh, Sparkle Donkey with us Sparkle as well. Sparkle Donkey, yeah. which is a local I tequila. They were at the tournament, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. yeah. exactly. Yeah. They were, yeah, they were here too. Yeah, which is what I drink when I'm here. I drink my Sparkle Donkey and Galazzo. So, nice. yeah, we might and have to ask them as well. And tequila, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not when we're driving. Yeah, only when we get there. Of course, of course. It stays course. in the back until we yeah. get there. Yeah. So, but uh, which I think is really funny because there's going to be three non-drinkers in that, in that entire. Oh my god, that's right. There's yeah. six people and three of us don't drink. That's pretty, not us, I shouldn't say them. <laughs> <laughs> Those people, they don't drink. So, okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's talk about you a little bit. I know people know who you are, et cetera, but one of the things that, to me, struck out, stuck out reading about your, your growing up were, were the stairs. You talked about the stairs. Ah, me too, man. Oh, so yeah. tell us about the stairs, because I remember going out and, you know, same thing. The light went dark, the light, lights went on. Yeah, lights go on, you got to get home or you get spanked. That was pretty much yeah. it. <laughs> But, but, but talk about the stairs, because it seemed like that was a pretty... I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but that seemed like that was a pretty important Yeah, it's a pretty here. vivid uh, memory for me. Just, um, I mean, there's only, you know, a few things that I remember from being really little and playing soccer. Obviously, just the love for it and play with my friends. But I lived in the apartments. And actually, the for the, the Give Big Day, the shoot that we did with Seattle Foundation, I they actually started shooting in the apartments that I live in. And we, oh, nice. oh, so, cool. so the first shot is of me running down the stairs that I, you know, we lived there for like 13 years growing up. So all wow. my elementary and junior high, um, I'm running down the stairs. I, I ran down when I was little and then into the street and then onto the street that wow. I played with everybody in the neighborhood. So that, I mean, that whole, that whole shoot, they, they did a great job because originally they wanted to do in Seattle yep. just for the idea. And then we decided that, you know, to make it more genuine and to make it more real, it would be places that... You know, I grew up playing, and so that was the first one that came to mind. Would be awesome if, you know, in the morning I'm running out. But um, that makes so much more sense now. I haven't yeah, watched that video. Yeah, it's yeah. so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, so like none of my family played soccer. My dad was, you know, football, basketball. You know, he was my coach in baseball and basketball and all that. So nobody really knew soccer. So it was just kind of me um, and. We had a bunch of kids in the neighborhood. Obviously, I lived in an apartment, so there was tons of kids, but some didn't want to play soccer. Sometimes they did. A lot of times it would be like 20 kids on like five kids, and you'd be trying to score goals on the speed bump. So I remember, you know, vividly that. But then other times nobody's out there, so I would, you know, try to find a space where I could play a ball and get it back, and it would be on the stairs of my apartments. So I would just, you know, kick it at different steps, control it, kick it again, and do that for hours. But I can never do it at my stairs because my dad would come out and yell at me. <laughs> Tell me to go somewhere go else. Go with the neighbors. Yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly what it was. So I would move over one stairs till somebody came out, yelled at me. Move over another pair of stairs till somebody came out, yelled at me. Yeah. And so um, it's just one thing that – and it's funny because I didn't even think of training. I was just playing soccer. Fine. I was just kicking the yeah, ball around. That's ball. what I wanted to do. And so, yeah, it was uh, – Was there anything in particular that 
uh, made you lean to soccer? Because like, you mentioned everybody in the family, or maybe more, more at that time, this is what, maybe the late 90s? Yeah. Probably basketball was probably the most yeah. popular, especially with all the, the popular names that are go were going into the league. Yeah. What made you kind of connect with soccer, whereas everybody else was going to all these other sports? It was really a kind of a community thing. So in, at my elementary, that's what everybody did. Everybody played soccer. It was, it was crazy because, like, for that time, that you wouldn't think that that would be the yeah. thing. But I remember it was a red dirt field, so there was no grass. You slide, you're skinned up. You we wear like your to new call shoes. That cushion turf. <laughs> <laughs> you slide, or you wear your new shoes. You get yelled at when you get home. You get spanked because your new shoes are all red. Um, but everybody would play every single recess, and so all my friends did. And I, so I, you know, would come home and go. I want to play soccer. Nice. And my parents were shout supported. out to the administration of that school. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Lake you. Lakeland yes, Elementary. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Lakeland Elementary. Um, and so, yeah, everybody did it, and so that's what, you know, the, my friends eventually saw that I was pretty good and I was pretty fast, so they were like, do you want to play on our club team? And so, you know, I went to my mom and asked her if I could, and it was a lot of money, so she's like, well, we'll get you on a rec team and see how it goes, and then we'll go from there. And so, you know, I played a couple rec years. Boys and Girls Club was my first year, and then a nice. couple rec teams, and then eventually, you know, I started to do well, really enjoyed it, and my mom, they put me on a club team. And so then I started playing with my friends, and I still love basketball. I was, like, captain in junior high. Nice. Point guard. I was loving it. I thought I was going to be in the NBA, but I didn't get taller. So <laughs> That's what I said, an excuse too. for a lot of people. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I just uh, – I think it just kind of developed. And it was something that, you know, I, I played a lot with my friends, but I could also go out and kick the ball with myself, you know, yep. and, and just play on my own. And, and I think that was kind of an escape for me. Well, I think that's gr – that's gr that, that, that tip alone – off the stairs, I think is great because yeah. there are times when you gotta when you don't have anybody else to play with. Yeah. So yeah, you know how do you get lot, the? Don't you? I do. <laughs> no, one, no one ever wants to play with me. It's weird. I don't know why. I like how you just throw me these softballs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're terrible. You're terrible. This is how we roll. <laughs> it's, it's our, yeah, we're, we we have a little bit of fun. You know, we're a little unscripted. It's we're always fans. like your, it's your 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 buds, your friends always give you the hard time. That's yeah. how it is. Exactly. That's, that's the way it should be. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Exactly. So we have a couple questions from the audience here in a minute, and we're gonna open. If you don't mind, we'll open up to a couple questions. But I do want to talk a little bit about uh, where where we are in the season. Right. We have eight home games left. Um, that's it. That's it. Eight home games left. Dang. Uh, not very many home games left. I think there's. I didn't look. I should have looked this up. Is there eight, eight away, eight away games as well? I can't remember if we're even at this point. I don't remember. Twenty games, twenty-one. Twenty-one games in. Okay, so there's, there's five, five, five away games left. So we only have thirteen games left. Yeah. In the season, obviously, um, we'll call it the June July apocalypse. I don't know whatever you want to call it, <laughs> but it's been a rough month, obviously, yeah. for our fans. Yeah. Um, and it's obviously been a rough month for for you guys, obviously yeah. on the field. No Oba, no Clint, no Brad, yeah. no Brad, no Papa. Et cetera, right? I mean, so everyone at the Gold Cup, we've had a lot of you know a lot of that going yeah. on. So yeah. I mean, the, the, which is great. The, the, the Gold Cup's been a lot yeah. of fun to watch. Ta Taco and Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, yeah. So especially last it's night, it's been interesting, right? Yeah. I mean, it's been so. How how are you guys doing? How are you doing? Yeah, I out think there? Um, you know, obviously we're you know we're in a funk. We've had a, a bunch of games where we haven't gotten results that we think you know one bounce another way could have gone our way. There's been you know yeah. multiple games where it's been one zero and we've yeah. had tons of chances and then all of a sudden something happens and that's. I, I mean, that's that's the game, really. That's it, is. Absolutely. it happens to everybody. I mean, it's it's a long season. We're still high in the in the rankings, and it's it's funny because it it seems like everybody's so negative. And like you said, it's apocalypse. I mean, yeah, it's easy to it's easy to see it. Yeah, that way. But for us as players, we know how this goes, and we know there's different aspects that go into everything. And so, I think the biggest thing for us as a team is to you know, almost block out everything and just focus on ourselves and the confidence that we have in each other. Yep. And it's happened years before where we've been in funks right at the beginning yep. of years and, yep. and people are like, oh, no, what's going to happen this yeah. year? And then we end up winning everything, or, you know, <laughs> exactly. and right. coming out and, and doing a great job in playoffs. And I think that's what our main focus just needs to be, regardless of everything else. I, Me personally, I just want to do really well in playoffs. You know, the, the MLS Cup is my biggest thing. I don't really... You know, it's it's always nice to win all the other stuff sure. like we saw last year. Mm -hmm. sure. But when it comes down to it, like I just want a cup. I want I want the star. Yeah, Let's exactly. I just want a cup. Yeah. Let's and I go. Just want a Seattle, cup. Seattle Hashtag I just cup. want a we, cup. You know, as as good as the Sounders have been historically, you know, in the in the past years where we've been in the MLS, this is something that has been 
coming for a long yeah. time, and we're way too good of a team to not have yeah. to not have a cup already. And so it's something that I think that is is here for us. So I have a reputation sometimes oh, for being. Oh boy, <laughs> they all laugh. I I am so optimistic. I don't. There's not even like one iota of worry. I mean, I worry because of course we hate losing, right? Yeah. But, but there's I'm not worried. I mean, there's we had we had this, this this conversation on Twitter Saturday night, right? Yeah. Um, and it was like, I mean, Twitter blew up, yeah. as you can imagine, after the match, right? Yeah. It was not pretty. Yeah, and I was at a lake, and I was like, man, it's intense. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was terrible. I mean, but anyway, so, but I'm, I'm, I'm not worried. We have a, the core quality of this team and the people we have. Like yeah. I said, it's a bounce here, it's a bounce here. It, and you guys, the cool part about it, at least from the outside, is you guys are a unit. Yeah. There is this amazing team effort it's not an i or whatever or it's it's a we yeah and the whole at least from what i've seen yeah. it's it's us it's yeah the, it's the community it's everything and that's what matters to me yeah personally as a fan absolutely it is tough and i mean it it is tough you that's why we have these players like clint and oba i mean they're you know a couple of the best players in the league yeah you know if not the two best players in the league yeah and so it's when you lose players like that that are so vital to your team it is it is a tough hit, but I still, like you said, think that we as a core unit are, are a great team. And just knowing that, that's why I don't think any of us are worried. Yeah. We're not worried about if, like, anything bad is going to happen during the season. It's just no. a matter of us, all right, when are we going to start killing it again? When are we exactly. going to start banging in a bunch of goals? And We have two weeks of the Gold Cup left. Yeah. And then we get our full team back. Yeah. And life goes on at that point. And we, yeah. the cool part is everyone else is going out there spending millions of dollars and all that, which is a whole other story, which we won't get into today. <laughs> but, uh, but, but they're out there spending all this money. And we get two of the best players in the league coming yeah. back yeah. into our fold. To a team and that really they have already like, succeeded playing with. Because exactly. we, you know, you know, before June, I mean, we were killing it. Yeah. You know, everybody kind of left, yep. you know, went to do the different tournaments, the cups, whatever. But... I mean, it's not like it's a brand new team, you know. Like yeah. They're coming back yeah. to what they yeah. know to, right. to the that, core. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I don't think we're worried. It's no. just a matter of time. It's just a matter of when. Yeah, exactly. And I think, obviously, we're all anxious to get back to that. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. uh, As are we. Yeah. 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 Just not going to lie. Yeah. 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 For, sure. For sure. For sure. So let's talk about tacos. Tacos. <laughs> Eric. Freeberg. The Freeberg. He looked awesome yeah. from an outside perspective like he never left yeah mean, he had that relationship playing wise, playing wise. Face. oh yeah, <laughs> well, face, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well there's things we can do about that but yeah. <laughs> yeah. he has new kids trust me when you have yeah, kids yeah. everything changes yeah, yeah. but he, and married and, and newly married, married too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 but yeah. she's registered over there yeah. <laughs> uh he looked like he fit right back in with you guys like he yeah. never left is that a fair assessment from you yeah answer? absolutely i, I think, don't want to target one player sorry i didn't mean to like no this spot, is, that's that's great i mean yeah. Uh, we, I mean, we talk about it all the time. It's funny because it doesn't seem that long ago that he was there, even though the, the team is a lot different. You know, it's funny because yeah. yeah. um, just having that connection already, and he fits so well into the team. Obviously, technically, he's, yep. he's really good. But I think uh, a big part of bringing him back is just kind of the chemistry that he brings. He's an amazing teammate. So right away, he fits right in with a ton of guys, even though, you know, they don't have that history. But yep. it's, it's kind of cool to have him back and to see see his face i'll let these guys talk for one second but that video the the uh, hype video they did of him coming to give you a hug and then freddie comes in on the out there it was like oh let's go oh, oh, man. Oh, man. oh i missed that you know it was yeah. like and then james riley comes in yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually work yeah. For a living? You just <laughs> <laughs> i both yeah wow yeah no, we definitely talked about the the, the good old times. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, good. It was, it was good. It's good to have him back. To have we're him we're back. So, yeah. so excited to have him back. So yeah. believe it or not, we're coming up on thirty minutes, and we have to ask okay. you a couple of questions before we get you out here. We, yeah. we want to get let Absolutely. them ask some questions too, but we have three questions we have to ask. Okay, these are first critical. one is we're going to bang these out really quick. I'm going to start. First one is is big year Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. Wow. Okay. okay. That was, I was quick. That was, that was the too, fastest huh? one, too. Okay. That was the fastest one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. That's, I mean, okay. Okay. All right. No, it's nothing wrong it's with a, that. It's a question yeah. we yeah. Asked, we've asked literally since the first guest we ever had. Yeah. We yeah. ask every person who comes so, on the show. Yeah. So I grew up with Tupac. I only got into Biggie when I got like, older like and then started ghost, listening or? to him. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> we, were, we were homies. I grew up with him. That's awesome. So second question. 
This is important. Okay. This is very important. And this is, I mean, this is before even this is uh, the, the new signee that we just signed up. Tacos, which is your favorite kind of taco? Stumbles on this one. Stumbles. I like that. He's giving he's it a lot of thought, it. you know? Yeah, I mean, I love tacos. Right, but which it's one is it? What kind of meat? You What's your favorite meat in tacos? Carne asada, lengua. Have you ever had lengua? Uh, al pastor. Have you ever had spicy pork? I mean, what kind of tacos? Which one is a must have? Uh, probably just, I'll, I'll do the, the chicken. I'll keep it. Pollo? Okay, pollo. okay, a little pollo. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was in, now uh, we know. I was in Chicago and on my. Uh, New brother-in-laws, both of them, there's two of them. They uh, took me out to a place called Big Star, where they, I guess they were supposed to have some of the best tacos I've in Chicago. What's it called? What's that place? Big, Big Star? Star? Big Star, okay. Yeah, I was Chicago, Chicago by Wicker Park, and it was oh, yeah, it was okay. amazing. So I had some nice. chicken tacos there. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. But they okay. had everything, Al Pastor, all that. Yeah. yeah. Nice. There you go. Here's, here's in the last important question. Sorry, that was tough. Yeah, it's okay. So hey, no question, man. You handle it like a I, chance, I have like a, a couple. I, unfortunately, I have a couple questions. I have one for my daughter. Okay. Shut up. And then a couple for my son. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to ask my son's questions first. Okay. Why didn't you bring Clint Dempsey on the show tonight? <laughs> <laughs> he loves you, yeah. but he's five-year-old. My son's five. So my, fun uh, son. Okay. So my son, uh, when Clint got suspended, and I'm, not, I'm asking yeah. for your question, but when he got suspended, my son uh, at five, we were at the game, oh. and it was inter- the next game. Okay. And we kind of like... Always thought, you know, a five year old, he's like, oh, he's, he's not really paying attention, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And they put your pictures up there on the screen. He almost cried because Clint wasn't up there. <laughs> he was like, where's Clint? So we had to explain Clint got a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a good learning experience, but it was oh, one of those man. things. So, anyway, so I apologize, but I had so to ask. Don't get a timeout. So yeah. when no so he, he would like to meet Clint. Okay. So I'm relying on your help, maybe, to meet Clint <laughs> or bring him on the show. No All pressure. Right. All right. No pressure. <laughs> and then his follow-up question, because it was his first day of camp today. Yeah. He wanted to know if you know what the four ways or four things a plant needs to survive. <laughs> wow. And you don't have to wow. really answer it. He knows. But <laughs> he drew. No, he learned it today. Oh, He's okay. five, so he learned it today. It is. Uh, it is water. water it is uh, sun, air, and soil. So he he drew this. We oh. all just learned a lot. And he wanted me to today. bring yeah. this to you. Let's go. Nice. So Listen, maybe uh, awesome. I could get a little signature on it at yeah, the end of the show, sure. or whatever. But he was, yeah. he had me bring. The, he brought it to me and said, "Dad, can you ask him?" So <laughs> yeah, anyway, no, so yeah, no that's problem. my five-year-old <laughs> questions for you. That's and then my daughter is a Girl Scout. Yeah. And there's a big thing in ECS and in all the supporter group about what is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Do you have a favorite Girl Scout oh, cookie? Oh, Thin Mints. It's easy. Yes. Man. It's easy. That's no. Easy. No. Wow. Are you sure? Simple, easy. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's only Thin Mints. Wow. Not there Samoas? Is. That's all there wow. is. No. Yeah. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to put the mic down, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was nice. It's been- it was <laughs> <laughs> It's a team. It's a big. It's a big deal. It is. Yeah. It's a big it deal. Is, it is. Just broke a lot of hearts. You did. You more than you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Including Lee. Big one right here. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. no but they're, they're they're never. I'm not going to say it on. So we have a couple of questions from the audience, and then we had one about how, how is married life. I believe was the question before, before and, and talk quietly because yeah. she's right yeah. over there. Like, my father-in-law, and my wife Take are that. right there. <laughs> Answer carefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, it's it's been amazing. Nothing is nothing has changed, you know. So it's yeah. I feel like that's no, nothing. You know, one, nothing's that's a great, changed. Nothing that's at all changed. Yeah. Are you sure? Other than the, I mean, we just moved into a new house, so I mean, it's going it's going really well. Good. Yeah. Cool. It's perfect. That's awesome. All right. So who else has a question? I hear somebody else had a question. Dave. Uh oh. I've got a very different question than I normally ask Mark. What was your favorite scene in Jurassic Park? What was your oh. favorite scene? In in Jurassic the new Park. one, in the yeah. new one, that was awesome. Jurassic World, yeah. In Jurassic World, what was your favorite scene in Jurassic World? I was hesitant World? to like see it, but it, that was amazing. I really liked it. So, it was uh, your favorite scene? Favorite was just scene, the movie. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean it has to be the the final, the final scene when. Do you, I tell, know, yeah, you tell us all? No, man, is it spoiler? spoiler? Right? No, 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 at this point, no. You're on? looking like Nobody's a seen this? I haven't yeah. seen it. You haven't seen it? I haven't seen it. Is it in the It's not a spoiler. I don't Go think ahead. He's not going to see it for a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Don't worry about when, it. I'll, uh, I'll forget tomorrow. Don't worry about it. When uh, she she brought the T-Rex out to to fight the new dinosaur, that was, right. that was awesome. I don't think she would have 
she was like running in front of it, and I was like, he's gonna eat her really easily. <laughs> she ran like a mile to the new one, so I I thought that was a little unrealistic. She's not that fast, but yeah, that was that was my favorite part. It was kind of it was kind of bringing the one of the first ones into the new one, so it was, I thought that was cool. Okay, good. Because you actually ran into somebody at that at the opening night. I heard. Yeah. The guy who asked the question yeah. over there <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. is yeah. what I heard from the behind the scenes thing. Yeah. Um, anybody else have any questions out here before we? Oh. Uh, favorite childhood supercar. Favorite, favorite childhood supercar. Favorite childhood supercar. What's your favorite car you dreamt supercar? of? Supercar. Yeah. Well, growing up, what did you kid. want? When I was, when I was really little, before like any sports car, I wanted a Ford Explorer. I had a Ford Explorer like police car, and I wanted to be a policeman when I was little. And so that was like my dream to have a Ford Explorer. Nice. I don't so, see anything I wrong still, with that. I, yeah, I don't either. I still don't got one. No, I don't yeah. either. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like it too. I like it. Practical too. Go Ford. So, yeah. Go <laughs> Ford. Actually, I'm thinking about getting a truck. Yeah. So, yeah. You shouldn't. I had one before. I had one before. <laughs> yes. Ooh. What's your favorite pizza topping, Oof. Lamar? Good question. This is a great question. That's it is. <laughs> it is. Actually, it's going to tell a lot about you. Yeah. <laughs> And I just got alerted to I mean, a, that, a great topping that I had in Utah. Case. Let's not talk about mac and cheese Utah. pizza. Yeah. Oh. oh. But anyways, go ahead. What's yours though? Just gonna have to go with bacon. Yeah. Oh, I love okay. bacon. Good call. Yeah. It's hard Good to call. Yeah. What's yours? Nice. How about you? There's only one tried and true topping, and that's pepperoni. Anything else is sacrilege. I know it was close. Pepperoni and bacon, but okay. I judge yeah. based off of pepperoni. Lisa. <laughs> What is your favorite TJ alum memory? Like because you're also TJ alum, right? Yeah, because yeah. yeah, she at also the, went there. At the schoolers. So your favorite high school Well, actually, can you tell us her favorite high school Yeah. <laughs> 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 Try to read her by it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and uh, Lamar. Um, I think, actually, just my senior year was a... Uh, the first year that I really got involved with like uh, the student activities and ASB and stuff like that and really trying to be a part of like the high school community. Before that, I was kind of just off to myself and didn't really involve in anything. But my senior year, I really got involved and I'm, I'm really glad that I did and I made a lot of good friends and kind of learned a few different leadership roles and giving back to the community and stuff like that. So yeah, my senior year. Uh, Kyle from Yakima would like to know, why did Hugo get to sit by Lamar? <laughs> no question. Come on. Okay. All right. It was the intro. It was the intro. And then Lonnie, who is part, has been a major supporter, major yes. uh, a piece of the tournament. Yeah. She yeah, helped yeah. drive a lot of the tournament, and she's the one I mentioned before the show. She and all the other people behind the scenes are like. Uh, we need to get the details of the tournament going. Yeah, uh, yeah like yeah. literally, like, <laughs> like a month ago, now a month ago, uh, uh, like, yeah. we gotta start working on this. They're, they're hitting us off hard. Yeah, because uh, you know, they're actually making us work now. Exactly, <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> no fun anymore. <laughs> she would like, like to know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. we're done. Yeah, <laughs> here's a check. We're done. Yeah, <laughs> it's way easier. Uh, she would like to know: Is it weird playing yourself in FIFA? Yeah, I, I, I. The only place that I do that is here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, I'm another team, and yeah, because then if you score you play yourself, yourself on your different friends, teams. that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trade myself, to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Chelsea. I want to play something. Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me and Messi yeah, scoring yeah, goals. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Great assist there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sure. Follow up question. The new one is going to have the female players. If you or when you play, will you pick a female player? In FIFA? Will you pick a female player in FIFA? Because FIFA and 16 who? now and will which have the one? women. Uh, yeah. Teams in it. Yeah. They'll have the women's national team. National team. So that's yeah. maybe what you should do for the tournament is play the women's national team for the oh, tournament. Oh, yeah. That that actually, is a good Everybody that, has to play and then Sweden we could get, versus Sweden. That would be a... <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we... As I was just going to say, we could talk to the rain about maybe coming to the tournament. Oh. You ruined that. Oh, yeah. 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 But not yeah. anymore. That's a great way to do it. We could yeah. talk to the rain about coming in and playing it truly. Because yeah. truly... For the first year For the first year of the tournament, or I mean, for the fourth year of tournament, let's... Let's play as the as Blame the women. It Boom! On the rain. That just happened here. Brainstorming. I like that. Yeah, live on the yeah. show. But that's an interesting because I can't I can't wait for that because my daughter, yeah, loves soccer and plays soccer. But yeah. and she plays with me sometimes on FIFA. But to have her be able to play as a women's national team is going to yeah. be awesome. Play with her role model. Yeah, yeah. for sure. No, yeah. I haven't seen any of the coverage yet. Yeah. 
Alex yeah. Morgan and Messi. Yeah, no they split deal. it up. Yeah, no big yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. Poor no Carrasco. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy's got so much. I will never say poor Carrasco. Okay, I will never say poor Carrasco. No. Just imagine one night. Just one night. Dinner gets a little heated. Oh, you're no messy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? What are you? Gonna, how can you? How can you even come back from that? You can't. You just, you just get up from the table and you walk away. You just walk away. Yep. Yep. Uh, does anybody else out here have a question? In one minute here, I got one more here. Kyle from Yakima also wants to know because you're wearing the the Mariners hat. Yeah. When will the Mariners turn it around? <laughs> and when will Aaron stop saying "rue the day"? <laughs> To the Mariners, you don't have to I answer the second part. Yeah, but. I don't know, man. I know, right? I know, dude. Oh, oh man, you just, you just said that like a tried and true Mariners fan. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. I mean, just, we just, all agree. Just, just growing up here, you know, I, you know, I grew up and I was playing like when I was little and on teams when Ken Griffey was. Oh yeah. You know, dude, doing his thing, and I had the Griffey shoes and everything, yeah. and so. Uh, yeah, I just hope that we can figure something out. It's hard when, because I've got the Iowa, Apple Watch, as everybody knows. And I, I haven't brought up the show. But I get the, I get the alerts. And, yeah, and that's when it says why Rodney I loss, yeah. again, it's like, oh, my God. Because yesterday, he got the loss yesterday. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh. Before so. I forget, my brother wanted me to ask you a question. Uh, and I, I had one, too. But quickly, uh, it's actually a two-part question. Favorite soccer player growing up? And uh, he remembers hearing something about you possibly doing a dual citizenship with another country, Ireland. Uh, he thinks uh, he thinks that is, is that still something that you might do to compete internationally? Uh, yeah. So my favorite player growing up. Uh, so I really got into soccer kind of when Thierry Henry was with Arsenal and just making it look easy. And so he yeah. was uh, he was a forward. He was scoring goals, and so that was definitely my. My favorite player. player when I was when I was younger, um, and yeah, I do. I've had my dual citizenship since college. My grandma's from Ireland, so uh, I wasn't uh, drafted or being you know recruited by any MLS teams when I was in college, and so uh, that was an that was going to be an option is for me to go over and stay Play with my family oh, okay. and uh, just try out for some different teams. And obviously, having your dual citizenship helps out because you know it, it costs. Yeah, and so. Um, uh, yeah, I mean that's if they, you know, if that comes up, you know, okay. why, yeah, right. you know, who knows? Opportunities playing yeah, the World Cup, right. yeah, to have a different experience. So last yeah, couple be questions. Wait, well, hang on a second. Let's stay, let's stay on here before because what was what was it? Terry Henry, the the reason that yeah, yeah. Ireland didn't get. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that dagger. That, that, dude, that, that hurt a little dude. bit that day, didn't Woo. it? Yeah. It hurt a little bit. Yeah, I didn't All know right. what to do that day. <laughs> I tell you what you Struggling. did. You weren't a Terry Henry <laughs> fan. <laughs> That's very true. All right, so Grandma has a question out here in the audience. What is your favorite position to play? question my my favorite position to play just on the field is forward but my most productive is probably outside mid especially with the team that we have when you have forwards like Clint Nolba you know you're going to be a lot a lot more productive when you're working off them and so I think that's yeah I I love playing forward if I was gonna you know when I'm done and playing rec I'm gonna be staying up on the last defender all day (laughs) (laughs) score goals and loving it um it's just so much fun and you have so much freedom and you know you actually get to hit defenders every now and then instead of them just hitting you all the time so i love hitting defenders exactly <laughs> exactly um okay i know we're at the end of the time last, here because we got to get you out of here last question last just just take two questions here james who is the voice the pa announcer for for the for this for the sounders at, at CenturyLink, yeah would like to know he's he's one of our he's one of our favorite guests Yes. 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 You've surpassed yes. that. Sorry, James. Oh. He's, he's, a, he's a special friend of the show. Yes. Yeah. But a- after a solid gold scarf, what is on your ultimate bu- bucket list? What is your ultimate bucket list item? As Anything. Anything. What do you mean, like career-wise, soccer? Anything, or anything, anything, anything you want. Anything. anything bucket oh, list. Bucket list it's mine. a bucket list. Wow. <laughs> it's a great question. It's something I never thought about asking. but And it's a hard one. It is. So yeah, if you want to think about it. Bucket list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I want to my toy Ford Explorer, my Explorer back. <laughs> <laughs> With my own uh, Ford Explorer. I mean, my... <laughs> <laughs> no. um, I think 
You know, at the at the end of my life, I just want to know that, you know, I lived right and I supported my family and I gave them a foundation to do something great. And that's kind of, Let's that's kind go, of it. Oh, man. Dude, that's, there's, yeah. there's nothing better than, than that, I don't think. And that's so. why we love you. I mean, yeah. that's, <laughs> yep. that's why we love you. Okay, so last question here. S oh. Sarah, a good friend of ours, the show. Are there any nicknames that we should be aware of? Not doesn't or have that to be anything weird like Pookie no. or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not the yeah, not that one, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I never really had nicknames growing up. I mean, L and uh, Negs. L? A lot of people Negs? call me Negs. Yeah, a lot of my teammates yep. call me Negs. Okay, just shorter than it doesn't Neg mean all you guys can start yeah. doing that. By the way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, I don't. I never really had uh, too many nicknames. Mar, Uncle Mar is what my little nephew is called. Mar, me. so that's awesome. But uh, yeah, that's that's all. All right, so we're going to wrap up the show, let you get out of here, because tomorrow you got practice. Yeah. And I expect you're going to run thought, hard tomorrow. I thought for sure I was going to get the Superman or Batman. No. Oh, oh but now that no. you know, ask no. yourself, no. A, ask no. yourself no. a question. No. Yeah. No. Hey, is yeah. this, is this yeah. a big no, no, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. for no, sure this should be a big answer. thing. answer. This is a prepared answer. No, as I was getting questions, I was like, oh, for sure. Somebody's going to do the, yeah, the Jurassic right, World. Lay it on us. Lay it on us. It's Superman. Let's go. Wait, wait, why? It's Superman. Why? She was asking, like, oh, let me get one in there. Yeah, okay. My question is, um, when you first came on the team in, like, 2009, you got, there was obviously players who looked out for you and worked with you. Great question. And now that you're more a senior player, who is it that you work with and look out for on the team? For maybe S2 or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like I give uh, tidbits of advice to all the guys. I mean, especially the guys on S2 that I've, you know, that I've created a relationship with because I was there. I was on the Sounders, and then I went down to the USL, USL2 to Charleston, yep. so I know what it's like to, to, to make that, that jump and then yeah. the, the transition back. And so I feel like I, I can give a lot of experience. But, I mean, some of the younger guys that I just immediately had a connection with, like Darwin Jones, you know, mm -hmm. kids from – Two five three yeah, in that, that group guy. in the academy and and so yeah I think uh, Darwin and I mean Christian Roldan is right next to me in the locker yep. so I have a good relationship with him. Um, he's all right. He, yeah, yeah, he's okay. He, it a, was DeAndre Yedlin, but what can I tell him now? <laughs> yeah. Tell him you were on sonar our feet first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, 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 you should still call him up and say, hey, I've got some advice for you. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we keep him, keep him, keep him level. Yeah. See if he listens to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not right. taking your calls, Lamar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. All right, boys, you got anything else you want to add? No. Hugo? Good, man. Cool. So, Lamar, thank you so much for Good. joining thank us you today. For having me. Thank you. You're yeah. the man, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks for your work you do for the community. Yes. The, the work you do for the community, the, the, your, your answer about, because we're all about family. We are. We joke, we have a good time, we swear. We didn't swear much today, I don't think, actually. We were good boys. Yeah, we were. But we, we really do this for, 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 for the family. And it's yeah. not just, we, well, we do it to go out and have a drink with our friends. But then we go out and we do it for the family. And it's for the friends, it's for community. And if we can't help build up, bring new people into the sport, and help other people, then we're not going to do it anymore. So yeah. at the end of the day, thank you for being that guy that Absolutely. we love on and off the field and being you. So thank, thank you. you. Yeah, man. Thank you. So, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, boys and girls, we're going to wrap it up early tonight. Uh, we'll be back Ladies. next week. We have a special guest next week. Yes, we do. A very special Always guest. Always special guest. Ted Smith. The Ted Smith. The Ted Smith, the Ted Smith from KISW 99.9 is going to join us the from the men's room. Yeah. From the men's room. Right. So it's going to be a little. Yeah. We can talk cool. vinyl. We can, we can probably swear vinyl. next week. Oh, yeah. Knowing the way he is. <laughs> so we were but, nice this week. Yeah, bunch. we were very nice tonight. But anyway, so we'll be back next week. up, yep. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Lamar. Before, thank you. before oh. we wrap up, oh. I want to oh. thank oh. all of our new watchers and listeners. Yeah. Out here. yeah. We've acquired a, quite a few new guests. Uh, we were hoping to have, we want to rent out Century Lake Event Center for the tournament next year. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've, got, we've got about, yeah. we've, we've, we're Are you close. going? Are you going big time? Hey, if we can get that many people, man, I'll, I'll do what I got to do. All right. If all I've right. got to go get out on the street corner and start making that money, <laughs> I'll do what I got. I'm losing right. away for you. Man. I know. I know. Hey, I'm he impressed. knows that. I'm all impressed. Right. Never know. <laughs> so, new watchers, thank you for coming on. Yes. Hopefully stick with it. and uh, Watch us every Monday, 730. We, we will always bring you stars like Lamar Nagel. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Thanks, boys everybody. and girls, thank you so much. All Have right, a good later, night. guys. See ya.